Hi there, in this video I'm going to be explaining Kirchhoff's laws. Now these are two very prominent laws used in circuit analysis. The first one being Kirchhoff's current law, abbreviated to KCL, and the second one being Kirchhoff's voltage law, abbreviated to KVL. Now what Kirchhoff's current law says that if you have current flowing into a node, then the sum of the current leaving must be the sum of the current entering. So say, with our water tank example, if we had a big stream of, say, 5 amps flowing through here, and we had two little streams of exactly the same size, the amount leaving would have to um, be 2.5 and 2.5, assuming they're the same. Or, if they weren't the same, they could be any combination that adds up to 5. But practically the fancy way to say this is the net sum of current entering a node or leaving a node is zero. Alternatively, you could say net current current in equals net current out. And yeah, this is there's always going to be a net change of zero. Um, or just in the, the amount n equals the amount out is basically what it says. With Kirchhoff's voltage law, um, say you had a closed loop uh, in, a, in your circuit, what Kirchhoff's voltage law says is that if you start at a point and work your way all around the loop, when you get back to the original point, um, the total voltage change will be zero. So the net voltage around a loop or a mesh equals zero. Now let me just briefly explain what a node is and mesh is and loop etc because some these are some of the terms you'll um, need for nodal analysis and mesh analysis which are based directly off um, Kirchhoff's current law and Kirchhoff's voltage law. So without further ado let's say I have a circuit that looks like this. Okay um, now, just just looking at it from a pretty picture point of view, you you have two two squares uh, or three squares if you include this outer one. One, two, three. But yeah, um, what a mesh is is only one of these inner loops. We would say there are only two meshes to this circuit. This this outside loop is still a loop, but it contains um, it contains two smaller uh, mini loops. So a mesh is basically the smallest smallest kind of loop you can have in a circuit. Similarly, if we had like, uh, I don't know, say four. No, this is, this is a horrible thing, but this, this sort of circuit would have four meshes because there are four mini loops in it. And what a node is, a node is one is a is pretty much a junction or a joint or however you want to say it. Um, there would be two two nodes in this one. There'd be this node here and there'd be this node here, which is which is the same thing as this node here, which is the same thing as this node here. So essentially, the voltage at a node is the same everywhere. If I were to draw a different circuit, it's a bit neater this time. Fingers crossed this circuit would still have two meshes only this time there would be three nodes there'd be this node here which is the entire top part there'd be this node here and there'd be this node here so that's the, dif the difference between I guess a mesh, a node and a loop um, I'm going to leave mesh analysis and nodal analysis for a separate video they sound like very fancy words, and you'll you'll be pleased when you know how to use them properly. But event, but essentially, if I can write neatly for just one second, um, Kirchhoff's current laws are dependent for uh, nodal analysis, nodal analysis, and Kirchhoff's voltage laws. You'll need for mesh analysis. Again, I'm not going to get into too much detail of this video. I'll do a few examples in the next few videos. Whoops, that's 
that's not nodal. I'm trying to draw a simple explanation of what it, what they are. So this is this is nodal. Nodal says that the sum of um, currents equals zero and mesh or catch of voltage laws say that the total voltage equals zero in the mesh. Uh, nets, I should say nets. Or nets as in sigma as in the sum or the total difference. Catch of current law, total difference of current is zero. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.